as you guys can see here, uh, I am now Amy, and the reason for that is because um, this is still going to be a co-op run with Wifey, but I'm going to do this series a little bit differently for this episode, and I'm going to run it solo, and here's why I'm going to let you guys know right now. I lost this recording, so I had to make a new character and kind of show you guys what I did. Now, I could have left it out because the way I'm going to do this series anyway is because gonna edit it out a lot because most of this stuff is just going around like as you guys can clearly see here um just kind of going around opening up secret areas that have loot or may or may not have loot i should say and um that's pretty much all that we do during this series so we pretty much go around looking for safe like this that has some type of weapon in it we explore a lot so pretty much what i'm going to do is so the episodes aren't too long like this could easily be like a 30 40 parter series um i'm pretty much just going to not show you guys too much of this nice green and i'm going to try to keep it as much main storyline as possible Some, like storyline um side quests anything pretty much uh Anything that has to do with like a story, pretty much, I guess. That's weird. I don't remember that happening before. Random earthquake. And of course, that's gonna drive all the zombies to me. But yeah, so for this, uh, this is probably gonna be the only episode I don't really cut. So you guys can kind of see for yourselves if you want to how this series can kind of easily drag on. If I don't edit it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna pretty much just record to the part where I kind of just missed, which is pretty much down here towards the side mission. And then a little bit of the next main mission and then I'll probably hear, I can actually throw that. I threw that the wrong way, but whatever. Almost works. Oh, it's working a little bit. But yeah, I'm just pretty much going to keep any, um, someone's behind me. Anything that I kind of find funny or like kind of like a highlight. That's what it's going to be. It's going to be like a highlight series. So I'm just going to give you guys the highlights. Are you still out there? Hey, can you hear me? Uh -huh, hey. here it is. Here's the side quest. Hey. So we did this side this quest and help. a little bit of the main ah. quest and then ah. I'll probably end the video. Oh, and good. Finally, some life out there. Well, you're not much to look at, but I'll take a chance on you. Uh, say, you seen another kid out there? No. Just the zombies. Damn it. Must have thought I was shooting at her and got spooked. Well, listen. If I get the gate, can you search the front? Y you find that girl, you bring her around back, and we'll straighten this thing out. Just watch out for the other trespassers. They might. <laughs> hey, get out of there, you scourge of a Satan! <laughs> I can help him out. I always I like freaking like old like Look old out. men, dude, in like video games or movies, dude. They're so OG. And she's dead. Obviously. I need to find the old man fast. Sorry, she's dead. All right. Damn, your brain's already hanging out, dude. How did I get in here if you have the whole entire place locked up, though, dude? I only expected zombies to party crash. Holy crap. Whoa. Nice job, guy. That you, kid. You find that girl. I was too slow. She didn't make it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I say, it's about time we send the Here, can y'all go for the fire? Thanks. The yeah, definitely. I'm with that. This is for the girl, you mealy mouth punks. Nice shooting. 
I call this guy Hugh Hefner, dude, because he's oh. rich as hell and kind of looks like Hugh Hefner. <laughs> Some damn fire. One of the playboys. <laughs> hey, get over here. I need to talk to you. It's a damn shame about that girl, but uh, I'm sure you did what you could. Curtis Sinclair's the name. Did a bit of acting in my time. <laughs> Ask your mother, kid. I'm telling you who has Pleasure to meet you in these dark times. I'm Amy. And yeah, I think I've seen you in some really old movies. So you coming down? Uh, listen, uh, I need help. Uh, years of doing my own stunts means, well, the old hip won't survive this drop. I need to get my chairlift to get down, uh, but the power in the house is gone kaput. I'm more about fighting zombies than electrics. Where do I start? Check the connections down at the end of the yard. See if the problem's there. Now, if you can get things running, I can buzz you inside. Godspeed, kid. Wow, thanks. Let's track this mission instead. But yeah, there's a lot of randomness in this game, and which kind of makes it a little less... Uh, I mean, I really like this game, but it's just like it's just something so small I that, that I don't like about it, I guess, is that uh, they give you like this open area, right? But they also give you... Wait, hold on. I need to find some water. Here we go. That connects the... Uh... There we go. Well done. Success. But yeah, they, they give you this really big open area, right? Like this whole entire place and this is just one area there's a lot of places all those are areas i think there's like maybe nine or something there's a lot and um you did it hey, get your keister in here We're as you guys seen in the other episode there's a um a safe that you have to get a key for and there's so many of these like safes everywhere i think my weapon just broke but there's so many safes and like keys that you need i think in like the hotel there's like maybe 10 or 12 and you can't get them the first time that you explore them that area so you got to come back like a lot later and like this area for example has one and there's a zombie that spawns in here later it's this guy's lawyer and he has a uh, a key to the safe and it's like a random spawn. Either it's gonna spawn there, or it's gonna like set spawn after like a certain event. So um, that's just one thing that I mean, it, it is kind of cool in my opinion, but at the same time, it really sucks because I like like going through a game like this. I like to just complete an area and not have to come back. But and another thing is the uh, it seems that uh, towards the end of the game is when you finally unlock like all your like abilities and crap like almost to the like last freaking final mission basically and it's like dude by that time like you don't even need to use all of your stuff but i think that they make you unlock like abilities and other things a little too slowly but sup dude word to the wise kid if you're gonna fight these things with grenades don't do it in your own home <laughs> Now, luckily, Good tip. The lift rail looks dirty. Power it up, and I'll take my chances. Totally. No power, though, right? Well, I guess I was wrong. My ears are playing tricks on me or, or yep, that's on way. bringing a crowd, I suppose. Don't worry, I got you. But yeah, just like little things. But I, me and Wifey are almost done with this. I think we have like a few, like a handful of main missions left. <laughs> And I have one more episode that I'm going to have for you guys. I think episode six where um, I don't know what happened, but my recording just stopped recording uh, in the middle of it's never done that ever before. But it just, yeah, it just stopped. Oh, my God. He almost killed me. So I'm going to have to see. I don't know. Like I said, it's never done it before, so I don't think it's going to do it again. But. It was just kind of weird, but I'm gonna have to re-record that part well, as well. So well, part well. six, I think. Oh, oh this guy, huh? Oh, 
Let me throw this, because I might actually die right now. Your nephew was a jerk? Is what you're telling me? Well, unfortunately, it would stop recording, too, on, like, one of the, like, most pivotal moments in the story where... Spoiler alert, but somebody dies, and I'm like, wow. Turns out I didn't get that recording at all the whole entire time. Sad day. But I'm really liking this game. This game is pretty nice. I think it's a little better, maybe, than Dying Light 2, because just because it's, like, funny. That might piss some people ah, off. I heard it's a lot better now than when it got released, but I have yet to still finish that game. I just saw the ending on it because I just couldn't do it. From the neighbors. <laughs> but yeah, throughout the game you meet survivors like this. You send them to Emma John's mansion and then you guys become the bestest of friends, helping all of them survivors. But um, expect it not to be like full gameplay like this. Expect it to be heavily cut up and, you know, edit it out like I usually do it. Someone up there must really like me if they sent you to save me, huh? <laughs> not sure what I did to deserve it though. <laughs> <laughs> Consider me your guardian angel, Mr. Sinclair. Listen, anything in this house you need, it's yours. It's the least I can offer you. We damn sure can't stay here, though. How's it looking out there? <laughs> Zero stars. Avoid at all costs. There's a bunch of survivors at Emma John's place, though. Well, I'll be damned. The neighbors were here all along. I ought to give him a piece of my mind for not checking in on me. He's dead. Turned zombie <laughs> on our evac flight and they shot us down. Me, Emma, and a couple others were the only survivors. He's dead? Damn shame, the son of a bitch owed me money. Oh well. I'll make my way over there after I say my goodbyes to this place. Yeah, you did good today, kid. Thanks again. <laughs> All right. See you later, Hugh Hefner. Thanks for the golf club. Some of these zombies move fast. Watch your tongue, kid. I'm old, not senile. Peggy here will make sure I get there just fine. You'll see. Now get. Peggy looks real nice. And we will soon get a gun, but not now. All right. Let's go ahead and continue the main quest. So that I can get you guys all caught up. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and loot. I'm also not going to be showing all of the collectibles like this. Because I don't even know if... Uh, That's what I'm, talking about. I'm pretty sure that we're missing a few. It's not a 100% run or anything like that. But Alright, blueprint over here in this room on the other side. And safe right here. Again, the, that safe belongs to the lawyer. That spawns in a lot later, unfortunately. It's the way they did it, and I think this goes back to the front. Yep. Okay, so... Just trying to loot a little bit of maybe health and med kits. But yeah, not a bad game, man. I really like it. It's really enjoyable, but... As, as fun as uh, whacking zombies like this is, I feel it's probably a little bit more enjoyable to play yourself instead of watch. So I'm probably, that's like the main reasoning for me keeping um, it mainly story stuff, I guess. Dropkick incoming. Also always wanted to dropkick. Just, just like, not even zombies, just dropkick in a video game, and this game gave that to me, so... It's got a huge, uh, dose of respect just for that alone. Sup? Yeah, this wrench is actually pretty nice. I think... Nice. I think this way... There's a couple of vehicles that you need to, like I think this one, the back. Yeah, you need a key for that, the cable guy's van. 
he doesn't spawn until later again. Um, let's see. The mailman's key right here. Later there's going to be a note on the ground right here that you got to uh, grab. See, so like little stuff like that would be a lot better if I could just complete like the area like the second I get here. But I don't know. Maybe they have their reasons cool. for making I certain zombies spawn later. Other than we get like special infected, I guess. But I wish they would just kind of... Looks like I'm breaking in. Let me do my thing, you know what I mean? Alright, we can't get in through that way, so we gotta go the other way. <laughs> now, we can do it many ways, but let's just go in like this, shall we? <laughs> Later, zombies. I'm just gonna leave these guys. There's like maybe one key in there. I don't know. I think if I remember that goes to some random um, Safe in there, but there's like maybe five or six actually that you're gonna come back to that house later That's how most of these places are most of these houses Aren't fully unlocked until you get like a side quest involving them later. Damn. I gotta steal the key card. There we go. So I do gotta find somebody in here. I think it's just some random guy I think he's gonna spawn in now somewhere. Is it you? No, not you. Are you in here? Oh shit. So these guys have skulls on them, so I gotta be careful. Zombies with skulls on them. Oh, here we go. Goat pen boy. Don't kill me! Thank you. Gotta watch out for you. You got a skull on your head. My girlfriend um, got a success. She actually was really determined to cheatsy doodle her way into a restricted area that she wasn't supposed to be in. And she uh, managed to get in there. And uh, we spent like a good couple minutes, man, just. Uh, trying to kill them because they were ridiculously high with HP and stuff like that and they would just one shot us every single time and I was like oh my goodness but yeah just stuff like that that's uh you'll probably you guys will see because I thought it was funny now that we got this guy's key let's go on ahead and open the door I think we still have a fuse box to get in here. The fuse boxes uh, seem like they reset every once in a while. They open up secret areas like this. You weren't ugly before, you're ugly now. Hello? I got my fist out. I'll box you. Yeah! Gotcha. Fire axe. That's what's up. And uh, I don't know if I said it, but you don't even have to be near or looking at this stuff. You can actually just spam your X button and it'll pick up all the things like kind of around you. So as long as it's within like grabbing reach. That's something that I thought was pretty cool that I didn't know. All right, Halperin Hotel, we're almost there. Okay, yeah. find the Halpern Hotel and tell the authorities that immune Amy would like a word. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Throwing stars. I'm a ninja. I think Sasuke Uchiha would be proud. I'm a huge anime buff. If you guys didn't know, if you're new and happen to be watching this. Let's go ahead and scrap this stuff we don't need. Let's go ahead and keep the golf club just in case. All right, let's go. Actually, we I think we have an electrified 
sword. I don't know if it's already gone or not. The machete. There we go. There it is. Let's use that before it becomes obsolete because it's about to be really soon. So yeah, next episode, that's going to be just me, myself, and I, I think is episode six, where I think we finally get the weapons. And let's see. Oh, wow. Look at you playing dead. Was she your girlfriend? Sorry. But we're almost there, so the end of the video is coming soon. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this series either way, nonetheless. Even with like me cutting out a bunch of traveling, because like I'm not sure how see how long I've been recording. 23 23 minutes already. We're here. And uh Yeah, if I like cut out this stuff, it's gonna decrease the time dramatically, so uh, not as lively as I'd hoped. <laughs> yeah. These runners are really fast, by the way. Whacking zombies. Whacking zombies. It's really fun to just, like, chill, dude. It's a really good casual game, and I just lit myself on fire. Let's see, we gotta throw something at that. I don't wanna throw this, though. We'll throw this. Here we go. Damn it. I missed. Meek lever? Sure. Nice. We got it. That cuts out the electricity. We'll just walk in the fire because we don't care. Yeah. Plus there's water anyways. Put us out. Club. Yikes. Alright. Let's go. We're here. Hopper in hotel. Shocks! Damn, I think I totally missed that. Let's just run past these guys and get over here. Look for signs of life. Is there any signs of life? The army might still be inside the hotel. Everybody looks dead to me. Oh, hey, right here, Walker. Locked from the outside. Crowbar. I don't like that. <laughs> That's funny. Oh no. Oh, nice slow motion explosive. Damn, there's a lot of y'all. Why are there so many of you guys? Jeez. There's so many of you guys. Screw you. <laughs> Thankfully that's Cheney. Dude, where the hell you guys keep coming from, dude? Another weapon broke. Do I even have any more? Oh, I do. Is that it? Is that finally it? Well, this is shit. Holy crap. Someone alive? All right, now over here, there's a bunch of safety key lock boxes. Looks like I got one of them, but there's really just money in here and you can just get money and a bunch of other crap from a bunch of other places. Hello, welcome to the Halbrin Hotel, where we are dedicated to providing you with the ultimate Another lockbox key right here, or a, yeah, a case that you need a key with. Would you 
like to join our yeah. platinum membership plan? You'll get exclusive and Boom. Hello. Welcome to the Halpern Hotel, where we are. <laughs> Okay. Radio. I could contact the authorities with that. How do I get in? I can hear you. I swear I will carve my name on your heart. That's Major J.S. Booker. I'm waiting. Indeed, so now we gotta yeah. find Miss Booker. I, I want my heart autographed. Thanks. But I would like you to call a chopper for me. And she is a little psycho, but we do meet her in the next episode, so I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with that. Hey, Mr. Runner, where'd you come from, the vent? And with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode where I actually don't mess up the series. Yay. You're not J.S. Booker. Gotta find this major booker. Where were they taking all these bodies? Take that! Oh,